This demonstration covers the NetBackup IT Analytics Ransomware Scorecard. The purpose of the scorecard is to measure your ransomware resilience and readiness in terms of data protection and recoverability. How well prepared are you to recover from a potential ransomware attack? Are you following all standard best practices in case you need to recover your data one day? Within the ransomware folder from the reports tab, you'll also see both the ransomware scorecard and the ransomware risk assessment dashboard. The dashboard highlights risk of underprotected assets, which if exposed to a ransomware threat, may financially impact the organization. But in this demo, we're gonna focus on the scorecard. So when you first go in and you click on the scorecard, it allows you to choose the IT analytics domain you're running the scorecard against and a number of additional filters. For example, maybe I just want to view the items I haven't completed yet. Or maybe I just want to review the questions that haven't been answered. But for now, I'll leave the filter set to their default values and click Generate. Just like a credit score that shows the risk level of loaning money to a consumer, the ransomware scorecard measures a customer's ransomware resilience and readiness. Based on the answers to the questions and data items collected, a ransomware score percentage is provided. The higher the percentage, the better the score. A trend line shows how the score has improved or not over time. The completed queries graph shows how far along you are in completing the scorecard. In our case, we're 100% complete. At the end of the day, it's all about how you can improve your overall score and be better prepared to recover in case of a ransomware attack. So with each question and data item, Veritas provides recommendations on how to improve your overall score. Scorecard columns can also be sorted. By default, the scorecard sorts by the risk column, which identifies the highest risk items. The risk column includes a warning triangle for items with a particularly high level of risk. The scorecard includes both data items collected by IT analytics and manual questions. Some aspects of ransomware resiliency can be difficult or impossible to determine from data collected by IT analytics. In these cases, users answer questions to complete the picture. For example, the existence of and training on a cybersecurity response plan is not something IT analytics can determine from the data it collects, so users need to answer these types of questions manually. By clicking Add Question, you can customize the scorecard to your own environment. Perhaps there are additional questions your organization would like to add to the scorecard. You can add a new question, assign a question a weight of one to five, depending on the question's importance, provide a description of the question, a best practice recommendation, and a more info link. You can also add multiple answers for the question and associate a score of lowest to highest for the answer. IT Analytics also collects data items from a customer's net backup environment. For example, are there hosts in your environment that haven't been backed up? Are there backup images that have been impacted by malware? IT Analytics, in this example, shows a large percentage of hosts not configured for backup. If we click on the URL link associated with the percentage, it pulls up a detailed report showing our host not currently being backed up. There are different scorecard user roles. An administrator can configure the scorecard and potentially disable some items. New question items can also be added by the admin. A user can go into IT Analytics and answer scorecard question items. And the scorecard can also be shared outside of IT Analytics by emailing it or exporting it. The scorecard also tracks both item and answer history. So you can go in and you can look at the scorecard and you can see changes that have occurred to an item. For example, has the description or weight of a question changed? In this case, 
how this question is weighted has changed a couple of times. In addition to item history, we also have answer history. Answer history tracks changes to your answers. Obviously, if you change your answer, that often changes your overall score. So it's important to track changes to answers and understand which user modified the answer for historically tracking the scorecard over time. Finally, a ransomware scorecard alert can also be set up to monitor whether your score significantly goes up or drops over time. Here we can see our ransomware score has dropped significantly from 64 to 58%. Uh, so an admin has been alerted. This concludes our demonstration of the IT Analytics ransomware scorecard.